Actually, we could make Google feel scared. What does guardrails mean in in AI? People were still raising questions about Microsoft, how it can go off track. Guardrails are basically the protectors. Otherwise, who cares about Microsoft and AI? Microsoft is developing AI that can kill humans. So you were in responsible AI till last year, is that right? Yes. And you went through this whole Google thing about the AI and about the overcorrection about um, about yeah. their thing. So how was it? To the extent you can share, how was it inside Microsoft about what Google was facing as a backlash? When Google got to know about it, they immediately made out a public statement that hey, we are releasing uh, our uh ai model on 6th instead of 7th 7th was the date when microsoft was planning to release but then google said no we are releasing on 6th because they were afraid to lose that first mover advantage then microsoft was like no we are not we can't release it on 7th we have to do it earlier and then we rushed and rushed i think everyone in the organization and we put something out pretty well which was not having so many issues on public media actually we could make google feel scared so everyone was happy and leaders were happy about it we were also celebrating in our teams but then like it's not a one time thing right that we do it and it's over we were all determined enough to not leave that position in this space and keep working on it we were actively listening to social media we were figuring out fixes in the product immediately when we were starting a uh, launch and uh, when it was being rolled out to more and more users i know how difficult it had been people were still raising questions about microsoft it was not that it was not covered in news i have a bunch of media statements where it was said that microsoft wants to kill humanity or microsoft ai is microsoft is developing ai that can kill humans all of these things <laughs> so yeah i have been in that turmoil as well but i think our model had a lot of guardrails good guardrails in place and that came up with the understanding of making sure that bing is doing good with respect to such harmful content versus google and majorly because bing had lot more uh, bing was biased in terms of having lot more bad or harmful content for the users for which we could actively do a good job in uh, figuring out guardrails for this product as compared to google and, so jenny uh, i've heard this term guardrails can you yeah. help me understand as a layman what does guardrails mean in in ai especially in the res- from a responsible ai perspective guardrails are basically the boundaries of no go uh, regions and the protectors who make sure that your ai's uh, responses or behavior does not cross those boundaries for example we have guardrail metrics we have classifiers uh, block lists which protect the ai from from behaving irresponsibly or out of our uh, planned behavior of answering or interacting with a user so i heard classifiers guardrails uh, what are the three or four parameters that you uh, rate the metrics on? the yeah. metrics uh, the tools for fixing these and the classifiers and block lists that you can put together to make sure that the behavior is uh, according to what we expect it to be okay and, so just, uh, just yeah. so i get as a layman jailbreak yeah. is what we get in reddit and twitter on how to yes. get around some yes. some some useless rule that one of the ai models mm-hmm. have created useless for yeah. the user useless for the user i'm saying i mean yeah. i'm not commenting on anything else it's like if you want to get around here is my prompt if you do this yeah. then it will get around is that a jailbreak exactly yes okay uh 
uh, and actually uh, the rules are not useless for the user yeah. but the user doesn't know it as you said it rightly uh -huh. right uh -huh. those are the exact guardrails that i'm talking about like those rules are what protects you from the harmful effects that ai can have so uh, having those instructions and rules in place teaches the ai not to behave or not to talk in a certain way right. and uh, that is very important for making sure that uh, ai is good and basically ai is what we have taught it right what we have taught it from our facebook messages facebook posts facebook comments in social media whatever humanity has written till now all of that has been learned by ai and that's the reason why we are scared uh, about how it can go off track because even humanity does go off track sometimes